going back to we talk a lot about feature selection uh, earlier, and let's you know we talk a little bit, but so we, now let's let's uh, have a more um, um, recap of that. So as I said, many of the features that you pick uh, and I pick initially will be useless, or in fact they will be highly redundant because let's let's face it. You know, we created a feature, uh, let's say a feature of 10 day moving average, another one, let's say it's a 11 moving day moving average, and the third one is called the 13 day moving average. And we think that, oh, well, why not? You know, we have a lot of, you know, easy to create, right? So we throw all three in. Well, chances are they are very redundant, they're highly correlated. But is it harmful? It's not yet harmful. We will deal with that. Okay, we, we will deal with those redundant features. You don't have to worry about it. You just throw in as many as you like. We will deal with that. And the way we deal with that redundant feature is through the method called feature selection. And others, in other cases, you might throw in features that has nothing to do with anything. For example, some people think that the weather in New York affects the stock price. Actually, that was what the, some guy in Renaissance Technology talk, uh, tell the... Um, I think maybe even Bob Mercer told uh, a reporter that they had used um, the, the weather in New, New York as a uh, predictor. I don't know if it's true or not. Maybe they, he, he was just trying to, uh, um, you know, maybe he was just joking. But you might think, okay, why not? What the heck? Throw in the uh, whether it's sunny or rainy in New York as a predictor. So, and, but you might be afraid, hey, would that create too much noise? Maybe, maybe the brand tech guy is really just trying to... Brand, brand, brand tech means Renaissance Technologies. It is um, uh, the best, uh, well, the most successful quantitative hedge fund, right? Um, so don't be afraid. Throw in the weather, throw in uh, whatever, the moon phase, the astrological um, phase, whatever that you can see, how the stars align. Throw them in. Because if they are not predictive, our feature selection process is going to throw them out. So it won't pollute the data. So just be, be cavalier, be liberal, be, be generous when you create features. Redundant features, uninformative features, throw them all in, and our feature selection is going to get rid of them if they're really redundant or informative. Um, we have recently published a paper um, that uh, we mentioned last time, um, that show that this process does not only, you know, the, the process of throwing out useless features does improve predictive accuracy in the end. Out of sample predictive accuracy, I should mention. Okay, so, um, now even feature selection, well, you know, it's a fast topic. Feature selection is a fast topic. So, and we have discussed it in detail in that paper. So, the highlights of that is that um, there are three uh, most prominent feature selection methods. One is called MDA, one is called LIME, and one is called SHARP. MDA is the kind of the default um, for um, the common Python based uh, psychic learn um, package. But we compare them to see which one is better. and the general consensus is that in terms of the um, predictive accuracy, all three perform very similarly. Okay, if you are only interested in whether they can improve the prediction, as long as you set, um, you know, they, 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 they are pretty good. All of, all of them generate similar um, uh, uh, pre, uh, improvement. So no worries, uh, pick any one you like. But if you are interested in actually looking at the features that are picked, you know, whether 10-day moving average or 15-day moving average is more important, then um, Sharp and Lime are much better than MDA. So in, in, in terms of the technical term is human interpretability. If you really want to get intuition out of this process, if you don't want to treat the machine learning as a black box, but actually want to extract insights, human insight, from what features it thinks are important, because you might use those features uh, in your um, non-machine learning based trading strategy, right? So if, if, if it decided that 10-day moving average is much more important than 15-day moving average, you might consider using 10-day moving average 
uh, hard coded as part of your training strategy instead of fifteen day. So not the you know the benefit of machine learning is not just a black box prediction. It can also uh, improve your intuition about what's important and what's not. Now, if that's your goal, interpretation and intuition and insights are what you're after, then Lime and Sharp are much better because we have found that MDA produce different selected features every run. It is highly unstable. And Lime and Sharp, on the other hand, create a much more stable set of features that are selected. And so, you know, clearly insights can only be gained if the algorithm produces the same set of features. Otherwise, every time you get give you a different set of features, you will just simply confuse the human user. It doesn't give insight, but it gives in confusion. Um, so, um, In particular, the version of Sharp that we use uses um, a, a, a particular uh, configuration called a tree explainer. It gives it guarantees to give a unique ranking of features, so it will not have any randomness, unlike MDA. Okay, so that's what we use as our default. 